Hey folks. I'm out here again in Big South Fork. Looking for some waterfalls. One in particular. And it's supposed to be spectacular. Probably the nicest fall in Big South Fork. I've never seen it. So, man, it's cold. It's probably not much more than 20, 22 degrees. But the sun's out. And as long as I keep moving, it should be all right. So, hang in there. I wish me luck finding this gap. <laughs> May need it. Thanks. Man, that winter blue sky. Nice. Not a cloud in it. Let's cloud up tonight and be some snow coming, though. Pretty good amount in here, so try to get this day in before the snow and highs are not supposed to get out of the 20s the rest of the week in a couple of three nights in single digits so won't get to probably get out in that very much but these woods are just absolutely clear beautiful and flat up on these ridges okay i keep on and as usual in Big South Fork, from the clear woods into the Mount Laurel. Mount Laurel this time. A lot of times it's road to Denver. But I'm gonna try to find a way down this bluff line and we're about probably a mile off trail now. You get out in places like this looking for a gap or way down and you find a deer trail follow it that's kind of what we're doing here this part down through here one way or another i'm going to be on my butt so i might as well just <laughs> scoop down it by my own choice <laughs> all right yes it's cold Warm enough to where a little water dripping, but that's pretty. And there's a waterfall back in there. Man, all these ice-covered rocks, icicles on them. <laughs> and there's that. And I don't think this little waterfall has a name. But now it's a good 30 feet, 35 to the little top level up there. And it sure is pretty. Okay, little waterfalls right up in there in the head of that. And this, I don't know how we can see it looking back into the sun, but there's big bluff roads running all the way around through there and up through here. So I don't think there's another way in here close than the way we came down. Yeah, it's a big old nice 
chimney. Sitting out from the main cliff road down here. A lot of icicles. And look at this. Looks like that tree's grown back into the rock with the roots of it, but I guess they found cracks and grew back into them. They're pretty amazing. Okay, there's a waterfall below us. And I'm sure you can hear their roar of water pretty good. But there's another waterfall. Right in this slot canyon. That I've never seen before. And I can't wait. This thing is more like when you first walk up and look at it, like you're sitting in a movie theater and it's a big screen. It does not look real. I'm sitting back in this little canyon. It's like a slot canyon, but it opens up and rounds off in here. And it is amazing. Hey, there's a little waterfall up at the, actually it's not a little waterfall, that thing's just got to be 15 feet tall or something beautiful. And it's honestly hard to leave out here. I'll be back and I'll go down there and get that waterfall in the future. With these short winter days and long way out of here. Save up for next time.
Yeah, I didn't feel much coming back out. Just hiking across those ridge tops and back up this horse trail to the parking area. <sighs> All right, back to the parking area. It is cold. <laughs> Probably upper 20s now. Uh, a little bit of breeze going, but it got colder as the day went on. And as you can see, it's getting late, it's getting dreary, and it's supposed to be some snow coming tonight after midnight sometime. So, you know, I'm gonna try to get out of here and get back home. You know, I, I really appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, you know, you people make me feel like I'm not doing them just for nothing. You know, it gives, gives me meaning to know that people do care and do watch them and do enjoy them. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. So, I'll shut up. <laughs> okay, this Pepper in the Woods. See ya.